All right, so today's video is a good one because we're talking about color constancy today. And color constancy is a, is a visual illusion that you're probably, you've probably seen tons of times on the internet before. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how color constancy works. Um, and I'm gonna do that by showing you a visual illusion first. We're gonna, we're gonna look at lots of visual illusions today. Uh, but I'm gonna show you a really cool visual illusion then I'm going to talk about where this fits into our uh, ability to detect colors and to uh, see colors. I'm going to talk a little bit then about what happens in the brain whenever we are doing this. And then we're going to finish by looking at several other examples of these uh, color constancy illusions, including the blue and black dress, or excuse me, the white and gold dress, depending on uh, depending on whatever it is that you actually see. Uh, you, I know you've seen this dress before. Uh, it was all the rage, you know, a couple of years ago. But we're going to explore that. I'm going to give you an explanation for how that works, and so you can explain it to all your friends, you know, at the at, at parties, uh, because I know people. Are people still talking about this? They're not still talking about it. But anyways, uh, here's the visual illusion. Okay, so looking at this, are the tiles for A and the tile for B the same color? So you see these two squares, are they the same color? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, you know, this is a psychology trick. I know that they are the same color, maybe? I'll go ahead and tell you they actually are the same color, but they don't look like that. They don't look like they are the same color. Our brain is tricking us into thinking that they look like different colors. And to prove this to you, uh, I'm going to uh, break it down for you. So we got this, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's, let's crop some of this out. I'm cropping even more out. A little bit more. Now they're starting to look kind of the same color. Now they're starting to look kind of the same color. And then when we isolate just those two colors, without any of the context, they look like they are in fact the same color. Now let's, let's, uh, let's pull back. Okay, and so you can see here, again, they don't really look like the same color. Maybe if you kind of squint your eyes, you might be able to get there. But for the most part, our brain is deceiving us. Our brain is telling us that these things are the same color. Okay, so why this happens is because of the third step of color processing. In our visual system, we have three steps for color processing. Color constancy, this thing is going to be one of the last things that we do. So, kind of to recap, the first step of color perception is going to be detection. So, it's going to be our cones uh, in the retina of our eye picking up on these waves of light. The second step then is going to be discrimination. It's going to be determining this is a red, this is a green, this is a blue, etc. because of how these three different cones that we have are differentially active. That's an entire, that's a, that's, that's a super complicated process that we'll cover in another video. Uh, the final step then is going to be color appearance. And this is where color constancy comes into play. Because what color appearance is, is the idea that colors, in order for us to really be able to process them, need to stay roughly the same regardless of the illumination. So in other words, if I were to turn off all the lights in this room, my shirt would still be kind of green and kind of white. It might look darker, but our brain would be able to understand, oh, it's just the color of green. It's not magically brown or magically red now, now that the light has gone down. That process, as obvious as that sounds, is actually going to have some pretty profound implications on how we see things in the world around us. Let me give you an example. Let's look at this parachute. So whenever you were, you know, in elementary school, maybe you had a gym and you played with this parachute, you know, you have, the, you stretch it out and you kind of flap it around and people run under it and they play around and stuff like that. Um, or at least that's what we did in, in, you know, in, in school before we had iPads and stuff like that. We played with parachutes. Uh, and so this, this particular parachute, you can see this and you can see how many colors are here. Count them. You should count roughly four colors, right? You got red, white, green, and blue. Now, these colors in front seem to be slightly different than the colors in back. Why is that? Well, it's because of two things. One is that either what's in back is kind of, you know, uh, occluded by a shadow or has some kind of shadow making it darker, or because it's farther away, it also appears to be a little bit darker. Either way, we don't detect that those colors in back are fundamentally different than the ones in front. That is our ability to do color constancy. Our brain is seeing this input, is taking in this input, 
and it's discounting the effects of the shadow. So just like in that first illusion that I showed you, that big cylinder, what our brain was doing was discounting the effects of that shadow. It was saying, hey, the, this, this square right here in actuality is lighter than what you're actually seeing with your eye because this shadow is falling upon it. Okay, let me give you another example. All right, so the infamous blue and black dress, right? This dress uh, caused a lot of controversy for about 48 hours, it was a national crisis. This dress is actually blue and black and roughly two thirds of the population will see it that way. But another third of the population is convinced that this dress is white and gold. Why does this happen? It depends really on where we detect the light source in this room comes from. So if you detect that the light source, so where most of the light in this picture is coming from is from the flash of the camera, then you're gonna see this dress as blue and black. And the reason for that is because you're going to look at this dress and assume that the actual colors of it are a little bit darker than what you're seeing because the light from that camera has flashed and illuminated, thus making these colors a little bit lighter than they should be. So. Just like with the parachute, some of those lights were actually a little bit lighter uh, than others. We detect, we're discounting the shadow of that. We're discounting, in this case, the light that's on that dress. Now, if you detect this as being white and gold, then things are a little bit different. You're detecting that light source to actually be coming from behind the dress. You're detecting that light source from coming from maybe a window or some kind of sun, or some kind of big light fixture behind the dress. And so what you're seeing, whenever you're seeing this, what you're perceiving is that there's a shadow falling across the dress. And what your eyes are picking up on are these colors with a shadow over them. And so the colors then are actually lighter than what your eyes are seeing, or at least that's what your brain is telling you. That's actually not true. And so what your eyes are picking up, those colors, they're actually white and gold with a shadow across it. That's not actually what happens, that's, but that's what your brain is perceiving because your brain is discounting the effects of the, those lights and those shadows. That's color constancy. Another example of this is this, uh, this was a more recent example that, that, came, that kind of went across Twitter for a while were these strawberries. Now whenever you see these strawberries, these strawberries generally look what? They look red, maybe they look purple. Okay, and so you see kind of this red or this purple strawberries, um, you know, filtered across a cyan kind of color filter. And so it makes that, gives us that impression. That's what our brain picks up. That's, the, that's what our brain perceives. But that's actually not what goes on here. Uh, those colors are not actually purple and they're not actually red. Those colors are just cyan and gray. And so, you know, somebody went through the trouble of breaking this down. And just like we did with that uh, chessboard and the cylinder, we're isolating those colors. And you can kind of see here that we're looking at cyan and gray. So if you were to pause this video, zoom in on that so that, you know, just you didn't have any context for the picture, you didn't have any kind of context of any kind of shadows or light sources or color filters, those berries are actually gray but our brain doesn't pick it up that way. And that's color constancy.